thanks to everybody for being here today. Uh, it's a special day for Jacob and his family. We're really proud of him. Uh, it's always a special day when, when one of our athletes, student athletes, takes their talents to the next level. We wish him the best, and uh, he, we all know he's going to make West Orange proud. Congratulations, Jacob and his family. So what's going to be the biggest challenge, do you think, as a mom and, and looking at Justin and going to the next step? What will be the biggest challenge for him, do you think? I think just making sure he gets up in his class is the biggest challenge for him. <laughs> we hear that a lot when yeah. he grows off to college. you got to get yeah. up in the morning. Yeah. I think so, being disciplined and, and between school and having balance in school and soccer is the biggest thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I know you have him prayed up, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you probably yeah. laid hands on him once oh, or twice yes. just to make sure. Yes. And not just Praying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Bobby, you've seen him grow as well. You've seen him develop. You saw him, we were talking a little bit earlier about going from middle school into high school and the, the change in his abilities. Share with us how you've seen him grow in soccer, Bob. I've just seen a maturity uh, in, in watching him play, strengthening as he, as he got older, his body got stronger. And, uh, but the thing that just amazes me when I watch him is uh, he's a very skilled player. Uh, his foot skills are, are pretty phenomenal. And uh, I enjoy watching him play. And I'm excited for him to go, be able to go to this next level. And uh, hopefully he can, he can uh, garner some more skills there. And uh, this is a two-year college. And I think he would like to be able to go on and, and transfer once his two years at uh, Georgia Military are up. So he's made all region for the last two years, right? Uh, first team all region the last two years. Uh, he made it this year. His sophomore year, he made second team all region. Yeah. And uh, he, uh, he led his team in scoring this year. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he's had offensive player of the year last year. So he's done, he's done really well. We're proud of him. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you the same question as a father. What's the biggest challenge? for a young man leaving and he's going to play sports. That's an, that's an additional thing. It's, it's not just college. It's not just the schoolwork. Uh, it's the concern of being able to make sure that he is able to juggle all that he needs to and understanding that mom and daddy are not going to be able to be there to get him out of bed. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to take some responsibility on his part and, uh, and some, some more maturity. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's not going to be easy, and he's gonna, it's, it's going to be a time for him to continue to grow up. And there are great memories of going through the years, y'all, with, with him at the soccer field. But uh, what's some of the teams, some of the accomplishments, some of the times that you think he really enjoyed the most? And whether it be rec ball or middle school or maybe there was a game or so that the light really came on in. Well, I think one thing for us that was exciting was that uh, his team and all his friends that he played with in middle school, that uh, his eighth grade year in middle school, they were the first uh, middle school team to win region. They uh -huh. had never won region prior to his, uh, that uh, group of boys that he's played with. Mm -hmm. And um, so that was exciting to see that. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, uh, we were not able to see that kind of success in high school, but I think Coach Nate is doing a phenomenal mm -hmm. job at building the program. We don't just have a, a soccer team, we have a program there. And I think Coach Nate is doing a wonderful job. But I think the other thing also is I spoke about some of the young guys that were with him. Uh, and a lot of those young men uh, are part of our church and just seeing the guys that he grew up with and they've been a part of our family coming to the house. And, uh, and that's been a, a good thing is, is the friendships that he has developed over the years through soccer. Well, congratulations to y'all. I know you're very proud. And once again, I want to thank y'all for what y'all do in the community for us. Now we're here with Coach Nate Smith and uh, Coach, you know, soccer is a tough sport to coach. Uh, you've had a couple of years now that you've been working with the high school. you got a yes, real sir. program going from what we understand. We appreciate that. Absolutely. This is a uh, fruit of your work today. Yes, it is. It is. It's always a good thing for uh, West Lawrence, whether it be the girls or the, the boys side of things. When we have a player that has the skill level to take it to the next level, um, we, we like to see that. We also push that. Uh, we want them to play at the next level. So we want the players younger than than the seniors to see that if they work hard, you can get a scholarship and play at the next level. Yeah, so I know you're proud of Jacob. Now tell us a little bit about him, about his work ethic, about what's given him this opportunity. He's an extremely talented player. He has had, uh, he has got God-given talent on the soccer field. Um, he is a goal scorer. He's got great vision on the soccer field, which is a must. Um, he can play defense. Um, he can go into attack. He's a leader. Um, he, he may not always vocalize to the team, but when he's on the field, he's going to give you everything he's got at 110%, and, and that just fuels the fire of the other players as well. Yeah. 
So, Nate, in, in coaching him, what things did he have to improve on? What things did you really have to work with Jacob on? Well, really, I, one of the things that we, we worked on together was his movement off the ball. We want Jacob to, in, at least here at West Orange, we wanted him moving towards the goal. And you don't always have to have the ball at your feet to have that. So his movement off the ball was something that, that he and I worked on quite a bit. Yeah. So this is exciting, like you say, for the program. It's really encouraging to see him sign and to see young people go on to the next level and right. play. What do you see for the program? Is it going to continue to grow? Do we look good? Absolutely. We have a very promising uh, future. We have kids at the middle school level and even at the elementary level that are, that are starting to gain interest in the sport. Um, we're bringing uh, a 6v6 league in the summer for the middle school and high school. Good. We're also going to be having club here in Lawrence County for the first time in, in a very long time, that, which gives the players uh, the possibility to, to play basically a travel soccer. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have travel baseball in Dublin, but we don't have travel soccer. And so now, starting this year in the fall, we're going to have travel soccer. You've worked well. on that a while, haven't you? Nate? I've been working on this for over a year now, and really even more. So we're really trying to develop our talent and uh, keep it coming through the program. Yeah. Yes, sir. The only way to do it is to play, right? That's right. Absolutely. And keep play good keep them playing. Absolutely. Play good competition. Keep them playing. Uh, it helps keep them out of trouble as well. <laughs> so. Well, this is Coach Nate Smith, everyone, and thank you for what you do. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now the man of the hour, Jacob Hutto. And, Jacob, we're so proud of you. Thank you. Man, you have worked hard through the years, haven't you? Yes, sir. Yeah. What's your love of soccer come from, man? Did you just take to it like fish to water? Uh, basically, I started playing in sixth grade, and I fell in love with it ever since, and I've just been playing every opportunity that I got. Yeah. Yeah, so you handled the ball well, man. You got great feet. That's what they say. That's what they tell me. <laughs> yeah, and isn't it paying off now? Yes, sir. What does this mean to you, man? Oh, this is this is the world to me, basically. This is everything that I've really worked for. I wanted, I wanted to receive an offer since middle school. Basically, is basically everything that I wanted. Yeah, yeah. So you're going on to Georgia Military College. Yes, sir. You're gonna have a two-year opportunity to develop yourself. Well, what's the coach, Coach Sexton? Now that's the coach that's here. Now that's your coach. It'll be your coaching college. So, what's he telling you? What are things that that you will expect coming in? Well, basically, I'm gonna start off on a reserve squad, and I'm just gonna have to work my way up. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, play and get some playing time on the varsity team. Mm-hmm. Yep. And just. I guess just gonna have to go out there and grind. That's right. So where will they use you? Um, I'll probably be playing midfield. That's basically my position. I've always played. You know, mm -hmm. just distributing the ball around the field, trying yeah. to help other people score. Yeah. All right. So you look back at middle school. You look at coaches that work with you through middle school and into high school. Who would you like to maybe salute at this time? Maybe mention. Uh, Coach Emery Davis and Coach Nate Smith. They've really pushed me throughout the years. Mr. Emery, the middle school coach, and then he came up to help the high school out. So he's been with me my whole experience. Mm -hmm. All right, and so as we come through, we think about our four years in high school. There's some moments that really stand out to you. Share those with us, man. Uh, man, bus rides, really. They, those are my favorite, and I always had fun on those, you know. Yeah. Especially winning. Winning's always fun. Yeah. Especially when yeah. you're with your, your boys. Yeah, and to get a region champ. You know, we were region champions yeah. in, in your four years here. So, you know, that's the first time that's happened. So Yes, sir. That's wonderful. But, Jacob, in looking ahead, what do you think you're going to have to concentrate on most? Now, you know you got to get up in the morning on your own, yeah, right? You, you've I'm heard that, right? To that. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> you better get a phone and an alarm <laughs> clock, maybe get somebody to walk by and knock on the door, right? Definitely. Yeah. But beyond that, now, you know you got to balance your schoolwork. Yes, you got to stay grounded in your faith because, you, you know, you, your father and your mother put that into you. You've been in church and around church, and you got the word in you. You just got to keep it in you, right? Yes, sir. Gotta stay on the right path. That's difficult. But when it comes to just that, what do you think when, you, when you're talking to yourself, when you really analyze yourself as a young man, what do you think it's going to take to be successful? Um, you know, really, I'm just going to have to try and be punctual stay on time that's always been difficult for me you know keep my head straight mm -hmm. school work it's always been difficult too so mm -hmm. you have to try and balance those between soccer and school I'm gonna have to try yeah. and balance those out yeah because you got a job and school now yeah now yeah. the summer's starting I'm gonna start uh, working for the pool company no I mean you got a job when you get there <laughs> uh, yeah, playing yeah. soccer is oh, gonna yeah, be definitely. like a job your responsibility and so with that balance man you'll do real well I know you will because you. it's something you want to do right yes sir Man, congratulations sure. to you. We're real proud of you. Thank you. Keep up the good work.